Hello and welcome. This is Samantha. Welcome to my channel. This reading is for Pisces, Sun, Moon, and Rising Signs for the week of August 31st to September the 6th, 2020. I'm using two decks, an Oracle deck and a Tarot deck. The Oracle deck, the or sorry. <laughs> the Oracle deck is the um, vintage, vintage Wisdom Oracle deck. Um, and from this Oracle deck, I'll be pulling two overarching energy cards for this week for Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising. After that, I will pull three cards from the Tarot deck, which is Influence of the Angels Tarot deck. So right now, I'm shuffling the um, Vintage Wisdom Oracle deck, and I'm asking for two overarching energy cards for Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising for this week. Please show me what sun, Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising has in store. Oh, there's one. Reflection. And let's find the second one for Pisces. Oh! The deck is giving me two cards, so I'm going to take them both. Love and Truth. So your overarching energies are Reflection, Love, and Truth. So a lot of thinking, a lot of introspection, a lot of considering what's true and what's not, and, you know, a great sense of affection in your life right now. Perhaps you're, reflect, you're reflecting on a love relationship or reflecting on what's true and what's not. So those are important energies in uh, many of your lives right now this week. So let's take a look at what the tarot deck has to say. I'm pulling three cards from this deck. One deck is... Uh, the, I mean, sorry, excuse me. The first card is past, energy effect, affecting the present. The second card is present. The third card is potential future. So let's see, for Pisces. Pisces, please. Pisces, please. Pisces, sun and rising, please. All right. Judgment. The Fool, and the Five of Cups. All right. The Judgment card, <clears throat> it seems that for many of you coming into this week, there has been some sense of completion of something, some could be literal judgment of something, um, some kind of appraisal or, you know, thinking over something and coming to a definitive definitive conclusion about it, perhaps. Um, the, 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 the precise interpretation of this will vary amongst you, obviously, but for many of you, I feel that um, this, is, this has been a strong energy coming into this week, judgment. The second card for present is a fool. Some people assume this only has to do with foolishness, but that's not the case. Um, it can do if you if you don't you know um, temper your judgment and and come um, to judgment here and use good judgment and you know um, look before you leap. That's the important thing. Fool energy in itself is just innocence, excitement about the about the world and about the, the you know it's it's kind of like the perspective of of a very young person you know excited about the world and what it has to offer them. But the, just the important thing with the fool is you always have to look before you leap. You know, think out your decisions. Make sure you're using good judgment. And so, you know, harness this energy. And then the Five of Cups. Sometimes this is referred to as the card of crying over spilt milk. So perhaps something has happened. There's been a lot. There's been a loss of some kind, and you know you're so wrapped up in thinking about that, and so wrapped up in dwelling on that, that you're unable to see some of the positive things being offered to you in your life. You see in the picture here that the um, the figure is very upset about you know the spilt cups, um, and but a new cup of emotion is being offered to her, and she doesn't see it because she's so overwhelmed by misery. So that's something you want to, you know, you know, use, um, use, um, your, you know, your, um, 
your te- your sense of temperance and balance to deal with. You know, make sure that you're trying to think positive and saying the positive things in your life. So, the main messages I get from this reading are to think before you act, to use good judgment, you know, harness all the lessons you've learned in the past in the, in the most beneficial possible way, and focus on the positive things in your life, you know? And this will come up as you're doing your reflection. You know, make sure that your reflection is kept in a positive vein. You don't want to, you don't want to start dwelling on negative thoughts, you know? And, you know, and yes, you do have to focus on truth, you know, but there are always many aspects of truth. Focus on the positive parts of truth. Focus on the things that you can, you, that you can control, you know? There's no point in focusing on things that you, it, it, that you can't control. You know what I mean? Um, so that is your, the reading, but I'm going, I am going to pull some clarifiers. I think I'll pull a clarifier for the fool. Maybe we'll get a better, better sense of that message. So I'm looking for a clarifier for the fool. We have the star. All right, the star is is Aquarian energy, and of course you come right after Aquarius. And if you do have any Aquarius in your birth chart, this could be this could this could mean that that energy is especially powerful right now. The this the the, the star is a car, is a card of hope, you know, looking looking to a beacon of light, a beacon of truth, which you know uh, ties into the star ties into the truth card we have here. So. I think what's being said, I think what the message is being communicated to you is that, um, you know, be excited about life, but always look before you leave, you know, always make sure you're keeping your eye on the truth. Don't, you know, it, it, it can, it can lead to disaster. It can lead to disaster if you, you know, make decisions without thinking them through properly. Okay. So I think that is your reading for this week, Pisces. I hope you enjoyed it. If it resonated with you, please let me know in the comments below. And please like, please subscribe so you see all my future videos as they're posted. I hope you have a fantastic week, and I'll see you again next time. Bye.